to be in 2019, I want you to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If he has done something for you in 2019, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If he allow you to see 2019, praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to come before your throne of grace. The mountain of Redemption Christian Center. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity and we won't take it for granted. We thank you on behalf of our pastors that are away to celebrate at the marriage of their handsome son. And we pray the good Lord we bring them back home safe and sound. In Jesus' name. It is a blessing to be in the presence of the Lord and in the house of the Lord. Most especially on the first Sunday of the year 2019. The topic that we are about to deal with today or talk about today is something that is very daring to our creator. It is something that our creators agree with. It is something that he believes that if we do not possess, we are not worthy of being created by him. I say so simply because our God is love. Our God is faithful. And he never fails. Amen. According to our Bible story this morning, we thought much about um, love. And thank you to the contributions of all the members of the congregation. It's not that we don't understand what love is. Love is not a new sound to any one of us. But I think we fail to understand that God is love. And whereby we lack the most important thing to God. Then where are we? I don't see anything that is of importance to God than love. Because it says, among all things, love is the greatest. My brothers and sisters, it's a brand new year, 2019. Do we understand what love is? Because if we don't understand what love is, we cannot understand God. Let's not fool us. Can we, can, can we speak the truth to each other today? Can we do that? Can we do that, congregations? Can we speak the truth to each other today? I, I know today is the first Sunday of the month that we need to Give a lot of thanks and praises to God for sparing our life, for bringing us into this brand new year, for providing for us, and for accommodating us with all that we have done, even if we're as dearly as a filthy rag. He still loves us dearly and bring us into this glorious year. He still loves us dearly and provide for our needs. He still loves us dearly that we were able to start counting our blessings from day one of 2019. Isn't God good? Isn't God good? So, if we really want to reward our maker, if we want to reward God for his love for us, it's not our money. It's not our outfit. And it's not our going to church. But it is our love for one another regardless of the situation. Because if the Lord is kind enough that he gave his only begotten son in remissions of our sin, that he went through the tribulation of earth to prove his love for us, who are we not to love one another. Can we stop backbiting? Can we stop hating one another? Can we stop trying to remove the particles in our neighbor's eyes without worrying about the logs in our own eyes? Can we stop discriminating 
between one another because it's not of my tribe, it's not of my color, it's not of my race, or it's not of my creed. Because I just imagine what God will say at that end time. I imagine what God will say to our Muslim brothers, to our Jewish brothers, to our Christian brothers, to our Hindu brothers, or the agnostics. Can we just imagine what God will say to different people that he created in his own eating? My brothers and sisters, there is no other passage in the Bible that sums it better than better than the book of 1 Corinthians 13. Can we quickly look at that together? 1 Corinthians 13. If you're there, let me know. And if you're not there, I'll help you. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 1. Let's pick it up from verse 1, please. 1 Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men Thank and you. of angels and of not charity, I become a sounding brass or a thinking symbol. Mm. Verse 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy, prophecy. and understand all understand. mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I have nothing. Verse 3. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be born, and I have not charity, if profited, profited, profited me not. Nothing, yes. Verse 4. Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envies not. Charity vanity not itself is not put off. Verse 5. Doeth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Yes. Verse 6. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Mm. Rejoice in the truth. Verse 7. Believe all things, believe, believe all, all things, hope all things, endure all things. Verse 8. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fall. Mm -hmm. Whether there be tongues, they shall they shall see. Mm -hmm. Whether there be knowledge, it, it shall vanish away. Stop there, my brother. Thank you so much. We can all go through the book of First Corinthians 13. One to the end. I usually say to my friends, when we talk about faith. If the book of Corinthians 13 is not in the Bible, the Bible is meaningless. If 13, 1 Corinthians 13 is not in the Bible, the Bible is meaningless. Because this is the true chapter that defines what love is and what love is not. Most of us misunderstand what love is. But at the same time, because we are Christian, does not mean we should be stupid or foolish. You have to be as wise as a serpent, says the Bible. So in everything in life, there's a limitation to things. The only thing that has no limitation is love. And among all things, Love is the greatest. My brothers and uh, sisters, the Lord Jesus Christ that we emulate today is the author of love. In all ramification, the ramification, the Lord, the good Lord has exhibited love to every one of us. We can see it. We can feel it. We can experience it. We can tell it. We can show it. What else do we want? Whatever we need in terms of the sample of love, we have seen, we have witnessed, and if we have not witnessed, we have heard. I'll tell you this. Without love, 
the journey of a Christian will be like a man that continued to fetch water from the well and pouring it in a basket. Fetching from the well and pouring it in a basket. That's the journey of a Christian if you don't love. Love regardless of your race. Love regardless of your creed. Love regardless of your political opinion or social opinion. Just love and let God be the judge. I don't know if the Lord will condemn, will condemn anyone that exhibit love towards his fellow human being. I don't know if the good Lord that will serve will do that. Because it says, above all things, above all things, love is the greatest. And if we don't practice love, if we don't cultivate love, if we don't exhibit love, how dare do we proclaim that we are believing God? How dare do we proclaim that we are Christians? If we cannot do those things, all the principles of Christianity all the identity of Christianity is bound by love. And if we cannot do that, maybe we should find something else. That's probably an alternative to Christianity, if you will. But for he created us in his own image. And he claimed that greater things we can do than he does. Why don't we take advantage of that? Why don't we just do that and see the reward of love? In the King James Version Old Testament, if you look at Corinthians 13, I'm just going to stay on this today because any other thing other than love is inferior because it says in the King James Version, charity which is interchangeable with love, it says, Charity never faileth, but whether there be a prophecy, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish. Yes, they shall fail. They shall vanish. Guess what? After that, what else? It's all gone. I don't care how much in tongue you can speak. I don't care how rich or intelligent you are. I don't care how much a fashionista that you are. And I don't care of how much prophecy that you can give. When the time comes, it shall vanish. The only thing that stays with you, the only thing that stands for you, the only thing that testifies to your character, on judgment day is your expression of love, your pronouncement of love, your emulation of love as taught by our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no other way around it. Can we learn to tolerate ourselves? Can we learn to love one another? Can we learn to be compassionate upon the less privileged? Can we learn to love each other regardless of condition, regardless of creed, regardless of race? Because that's the only way that we can establish peace among one another. Let there be peace on earth is what we want to proclaim, is what we want to see. Is what our maker foresee before he proceeds to create us in his image. He probably would have created us in something else. But he created us in his, in his image for peace to reign on earth. For us to have dominion. For us to have control. But if we deviate from the love of God, 
How can we have dominion? Because the Bible says, two cannot work together unless they agree. Is there an agreement without love? I think the couples, and the husbands and wife and boyfriend and girlfriend, realistically speaking, whatever you want to call it, can testify to that. How can two agree if there is no love? It is difficult. It's impossible. How can two tolerate each other if there is no love? Considering the fact that, you know, some people come from different background, different race, different color, different population, different grade, different what I mean. My brothers and sisters today, today, there's no one the other day different from a precious Sunday that we are blessed to be part of. We only know of today. None of us know of tomorrow. But in whichever way we take it, and anyhow we like it, let us exhibit love between one another. Let us exhibit love between one another. The Bible says in 13 and 11, it says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Put away childish things. What are those childish things? Dispersing your fellow human being. Backbiting your fellow human being. Tarnishing the image unnecessarily. Erring on your fellow human being. Disrespecting your fellow human being. Is a child. It's a thing that is not come down in the kingdom of God. Childish things is not of our Lord Jesus Christ. Childish things is not of God. I can understand when we were young. I can understand the days when we don't know. How about when we now know? How about when we now are Christians? How about when we claim that we are born again? Can we pull childish things away? And listen to the book of 1 Corinthians 13. And emulate Christ. And be what he had created us to be. Can we be that without love? I don't know. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Because love trumps all things. Let somebody hate you. Let somebody despise you. Let somebody cheat you. Let somebody rob you. Let somebody backstab you. Let somebody speak malice against you. Let somebody cross your path. Let somebody say you can't get there. The battle is not yours. The battle is not yours. Can you please give love back in return? Give love back in returns. And watch what your maker will do. Watch what the Lord will do. Because he is love. That's the only language that he understands. Anything outside the concept of love as defined by the first Corinthians 13 is contrary to the will of God. Anything outside the first Corinthians 13 is against the existence of humanity. My brothers and sisters, it's not a new message, but we need a new understanding in the year 2019. We need a new step towards the right direction in, in closing. My Bible says, 1 Corinthians 13, 13. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. My Bible says, And now abided faith, and now hope, hope charity. charity. God bless you, my brother.
And now abideth faith, hope, charity. These three things, but the greatest of these is charity. Charity is interchangeable with love. My brothers and sisters, it's about time to audit ourselves. It's about time to audit our faith. It's about time to audit our hope. It's about time to audit our love. And when you take a diligent audition or auditing of those three things that constitute the creation of man, love, which is interchangeable with charity, it's the greatest. My message today, the sustainer of our future, the creator of our being, the guard to our steps, the provider of our need, will grant us the grace to be able to live with one another in love Amen. and in unity. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us emulate Christ. Let us show love. Let us practice love with one another, regardless of the situation. When you are upset, think about love. When you are angry, think about love. When you just hate to see that person, think about love. When you just despise that person, think about love. When you try to speak negative about that being, think about love. When you try to sink that neighbor of yours, think about love. When you try to betray someone, think about love. When you try to destroy someone, think about love. Why don't we try and switch those things for the opposite? Why don't we just hate? Why don't we just promote? Why don't we just guard? Why don't we just help? Why don't we just uplift him for the glory of God and to sustain his kingdom? The Bible says, the Lord says, if you do this for one of them, you have done it for me. My brothers and sisters, let love raise, let love reign, let love rise in our home, in our place of work, in our congregation, and in all that we do. Let's stand up for prayer. Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you, we glorify you, we adore you, we worship you, we give you praises, honor, and adoration. For you are the God of God. You are the King of Kings. You are the Alpha and Omega. For you have said among faith, hope, and love, among those three things, love is the greatest. We come before your throne of grace this evening, the first Sunday of the year 2019. Lord, in your infinite mercy, we ask of you, O oh Lord, to replace the heart of stone with the heart of love. Let us be able to love one another as you have created us to be. Amen. Oh Lord, give us that gentle spirit. Give us that gentle spirit Amen. that would enable us to be able to return evil for love. Amen. Lord, Heavenly Father, let us be able to do and proclaim love unto our fellow human beings. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your grace. Amen. We thank you for your mind and spirit that Amen. move in the house of the Lord today. We thank you for this sanctuary. Amen. We thank you for all the members. Lord, Heavenly Father, you are the doer of all things. You are the only one that can touch human life. It doesn't matter how Amen. much it is preached. It doesn't matter how much it is written. But Lord, Heavenly Father, as I put the congregation on the youth today, that your word love resonate with them that your word love be instilled in their heart let us be able to do as you have commanded us in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen, amen. amen somebody amen. shout hallelujah, hallelujah.